looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. Hebrews 12, 15. So, we're told that we are to watch out, look diligently, be careful. Be careful of what? Well, be careful of falling short. Be, be, care, be careful of failure, falling short of the grace of God. Um, and, and what, what will um, constitute falling short of the grace of God in this instance? Well, picture a stump here. And uh, the stump has all kinds of roots going all over the yard. And it says, um, and, and the thing that is um, characteristic of roots is that they are all underground. These roots are all underground, and they're all over the yard, and they're gathering nutrients from all over the yard, and they're gathering nut nutrients while you sleep. They're gathering nutrients all the time. And it says that um, when uh, this root of bitterness does something, eventually what it does is it springs up. Okay? And when it springs up, it sends a bunch of suckers up. But it grows into a, a rancid tree and it produces all kinds of defiling fruit. So what happens is if someone fails to uh, look diligently, if someone fails to pay attention the way he's instructed here, um, he fails of the grace of God, he falls short of the grace of God, the root of bitterness gathers force, gathers uh, nutrition, and all at once it all comes out. You know, that unfortunate family Thanksgiving eruption or that unfortunate explosion that the road rage incident kicked off or, you know, whatever it is. And when that happens, when that happens, um, many are defiled. Many are defiled. So people um, will stuff it. They will, they've got resentments, a collection of resentments, a collection of bitternesses, uh, various offenses, various grievances that they've um, uh, been storing up over the years. But being a little bit bitter is like being a little bit pregnant. Um, you're going to have the baby sometime. It's going to it's going to come out sometime. And so when when bitterness has its full effect, it says defilement. Many are defiled. Uh, you might uh, go to. Um, a therapist who says, well, you need to clear the air. You need to let this all out. And that, then, kaboom, everybody's defiled. Uh, and then you say, well, I don't want to do that. I don't, I, I don't want to defile everybody. I'll just keep it in. Well, all you're doing is keeping the roots, gathering nutrients, and you're just postponing the inevitable. So what, what do you do? Well, you call in God. This is a picture of God's gospel backhoe bring it in, dig up the stump, dig up all the roots, confess the sin of bitterness. And when you confess the sin of bitterness, you have to confess as though you were the only person in the whole tawdry episode who did anything wrong. 